What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Auburn Football Recruiting Show. This is Keith Niebuhr with Auburn Undercover and 24-7 Sports. Now, each week we try to give you a little bit of an overview of where things stand on the recruiting trail for Coach Brian Harson and the Tigers. We try to do this in about 10 to 15 minutes, get you in and out as much information as possible forwarded from me to you during that period of time. So we always start off with a quick reset of where things are. And in the 2022 class right now, Auburn has three commitments and the number 26 ranking uh, from 24-7 Sports Nationally. So the number 26 class in the country for 2022, that puts Auburn at number eight in the SEC. Now, obviously, it's very early. It's the first weekend in March. There's a long way to go. No reason for panic just yet. The three commitments for Auburn, four-star quarterback Holden Gurner from Savannah, Georgia, three-star cornerback Jarrell Stinson from Opelika, Alabama, and then finally three-star linebacker Powell Gordon from Auburn High. Now, Stinson is kind of the one to watch here because the Gators, the Florida Gators, uh, have a cornerbacks coach. You might have remembered him. You might know the name. You might recognize it. Wesley McGriff, formerly of Auburn. He is pushing extremely hard for Jarrell Stinson. So Florida is trying to make that interesting, and we shall see how that goes. What we do know about Brian Harson, Auburn's new coach, you're either in or you're out. He doesn't want a lot of waffling. And if he feels like Jarrell Stinson is waffling, Auburn may make a decision before Jarrell Stinson could. But right now, he's committed. And uh, at the end of the day, I think a lot of people at Auburn feel like that he will remain in the class. But we shall see, again, Florida making it interesting. Three commitments in the 2022 class. Again, the number 26 ranking in the country. Now, on today's show, we're going to do a little bit of a, uh, a few different segments. The first one, quarterback watch. Auburn has offered two new quarterbacks. That's right. They have somebody committed, Holden Gurner, but they want to add a second quarterback in the class. We'll give you a little bit of an overview there. Uh, then it'll be who's next to commit. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we predicted Pal Gordon would be next to commit, and he was the linebacker from Auburn High. And then finally, uh, we'll have two updates. One will be from Florida, man. We've got a little Florida juice in this sec uh, this edition of the show. And finally, we'll have a Q&A where I'll take a couple of questions. But we'll get you in and out real quick, like I said. And let's move on to the next segment right now, QB Watch. All right, everybody, welcome to QB Watch, where we talk about some of the guys that Auburn is recruiting at the most important position on the field. We know that Holden Gurner committed on February 1st, four-star quarterback, as we mentioned, from Savannah, Georgia. But Auburn would like to add a second quarterback to the class. And, uh, you know, that's – that can be tricky. That can be tricky because not everybody wants to be part of a two quarterback class. Uh, and if you land one four star, can you get another four star? Does it scare people away? So there's a lot to be considered. And then you also have to go out and make sure the kids fit what you're looking for. But two offers went out in the past week, and we're going to talk about those now. The first one up on the screen you see is Nick Evers. He's from Flower Mound, Texas, three star quarterback, six feet three, 190 pounds. He's the number 20 pro style quarterback in the country. Uh, some recent offers, Florida, Ole Miss, Texas Tech, TCU, Penn State, Iowa. Uh, if you're going to ask me who the favorite is right now, I think maybe, uh, you know, some people would say Florida. Some people say keep an eye on Penn State. But it seems to be fairly open. There is no crystal ball pick in for Nick Evers right now. Now, last year in, in uh, 2020, he threw for almost 2,600 yards, 25 touchdown passes with only six interceptions. Now, we have interviewed Nick a couple of times, and he's very excited to get this Auburn offer. He's really bonded and, and clicked well with offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach Mike Bobo of Auburn. And he has said, hey, I have no problem at all being the second quarterback in the class if that's, you know, if that's something that uh, if he decides, hey, Auburn's the place I want to be. He says, he says he's not going to let the fact that Holden Gurner is already committed influence him. Now, the second young man is a kid named Taven Jackson, and he is out of Indiana. We're going to get to his profile in a second here. And this is a guy that uh, he's starting to blow up a little bit, too. He's got, uh, well, first of all, let me say he's six feet five, 185 pounds. And we're going to, as we talk right now, we're going to upload his image. And so you can kind of get a look at him. And there he is. And let's get back into this one. It's always a little tricky trying to figure out these photos here. Uh, Taven Jackson, again, uh, he is out of uh, Greenwood, Indiana, Center Grove High School. Now, uh, some of his recent offers, UCLA, Tennessee, Illinois, and how about this one, UCF. I think you know who the head coach is there. He's the number 17 pro style quarterback in the country. He's actually rated ahead of the, the other young gentleman we just spoke about, Nick Evers. In fact, Auburn offered him a few days before Evers. Uh, last year, he completed 62% of his passes for 1,756 yards. 
17 touchdowns and five interceptions. Now, we have not spoken to Taven yet. We've not been able to reach him. Uh, but we know that he was excited about his recent UCLA offer. We've heard he was excited about the Auburn offer. He, too, seems like he is someone who would be comfortable uh, maybe being part of a two-quarterback class. We don't think Auburn would just throw out these offers if, you know, they didn't think that there was a possibility, at least, of landing these guys. So we'll see. But it's, it's always tricky. But those are two quarterbacks to watch. And right now you're probably asking about a third one, and I'm going to pull him up here in just a second, and that's Ja'Curry Brown. Now, Ja'Curry Brown is a four-star quarterback from Lowndes High School in Georgia. And why we're bringing up Ja'Curry Brown uh, is because he's going to announce pretty soon here, in fact. Uh, there you go. There's Ja'Curry Brown. Uh, let's get you back in there. You get, get yourself a good look at him. Uh, this is a big-time guy here. Uh, you know, big quarterback, 6'4", 205 pounds. Uh, but Ja'Curry is going to be committing fairly soon. On March 26th, he says, hey, I'm ready. I'm done. Now, I would say two months ago, Florida was the, the you know, runaway favorite. But something happened in Gainesville. Brian Johnson, who was the offensive coordinator, uh, left for an NFL position. And so now he had to rebuild a relationship with somebody else at, at Florida. And that really changed the dynamic of his recruitment. Florida remains in his final group. So is Auburn. So is Texas A&M. So is Arizona State, and so is Miami. And Miami, guys, is the team to watch for Ja'Curry Brown. We project him to the University of Miami on March 26th. That'll do it for this <laughs> – I can't even get it out – this edition of QB Watch. And next up, who could be next to commit? We'll be right back. Well, who could be next to commit to the Auburn Tigers? I'll give you a hint. It's one of the three guys in this photo. And you know it's not the dude in the middle. That's Dan Mullen, Florida coach and arch enemy to many Auburn Tigers football fans. So that leaves one of the two kids on his shoulders. Well, the taller of the two is a guy named Evan McPherson, who was Florida's place kicker for the last few seasons. He is now headed off to the NFL, so it's not him. The shorter of the two is our pick for who could be next to commit to the Auburn Tigers. Who is he? His name is Alex McPherson, and he is a very, very good kicker. Uh, Alex is a 2022 place kicker at Fort Payne High in Alabama. He's got offers not only from Auburn, but Florida, LSU, and Tennessee. Uh, again, he's the younger brother to the other kicker in that photo, Evan McPherson. Uh, last season, Alex went 10 of 16 on field goals. Two of his misses were from 60-plus yards. Another was from 55. So he's got a big leg, and that also was illustrated by the fact that most of his, um, most of his kickoffs were touchbacks. Coles, which ranks place kickers nationally, a well-known uh, ranking service and website. They have Alex McPherson as the number one place kicker in the country. Now, Auburn offered last Thursday, and immediately the Tigers started feeling very good about things. And up until that point, Dan Mullen had felt very good, and him and his staff. Uh, but they knew that if Auburn offered, it would be tough to beat out the Tigers. Here's a couple of reasons why. Alex grew up an Auburn fan. He, he, was, he bled orange and blue growing up. Not gator orange and blue, but Auburn orange and blue. And also consider this, Anders Carlson, who has been Auburn's place kicker for the last three years. Uh, 2021, there's a very good chance it'll be his last season with the Tigers. He's got an NFL leg, and, and uh, he probably, we think, you know, he could stick around. Last year did not count against players' eligibility. But we think there's a very good chance he could leave early for the NFL. Not early, but after the 2021 season. So that would open up the place kicking spot. So you add it all up. Alex McPherson <laughs> grew up an Auburn fan, number one place kicker in the country, and then also the ability to come in right away and potentially start for Auburn in 2022 has us thinking that this guy in the middle is now out of the picture for this guy, Alex McPherson, who we believe has a very good chance, or there is a very good chance, he could be the next to commit to the Auburn Tigers. What's up, everybody? Florida man back for another update from the Sunshine State on Auburn football recruiting. We got a really good prospect to talk about this week. His name is Earl Little, and he's a four-star cornerback at Plantation American Heritage. Now, that's down in Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, as you know, a county that's been very good to Auburn through the years. Now, Earl Little, uh, number 11 cornerback in the country, six feet, 170 pounds, 35 tackles last year, and two interceptions. And what's great is his school's not far from the beach, so I can get a little surfing in in the morning and then go check him out in the afternoon. And he is something special, guys. Uh, Earl Little, a name to remember. Now, he is in no rush to commit. He's in no rush to even really trim things down. 
He says, hey, I'm going to have a top five, but it's going to be right before the season. Now, right now, we know that Miami, LSU, and Alabama are definitely going to be in that top five. But Auburn is fighting and fighting hard. Zach Etheridge, Auburn's first-year cornerbacks coach, is battling hard. Derek Mason, Auburn's new defensive coordinator, formerly the head coach at Vanderbilt, he is also heavily involved. We can tell you that Earl Little had a virtual visit with Auburn on Friday. We think that went well. Auburn battling and battling and battling and hoping that come August, the Tigers will find themselves in his top five. So remember that name, Earl Little. Florida man, out. All right, before we head out, we're going to take three quick questions that found their way into my inbox at Auburn Undercover and 24-7 Sports this week. Uh, first off, uh, Holden Garner, Auburn's quarterback commit from Savannah, Georgia. What do you think is his best trait? Well, I got to be honest, I've never seen him in person, but on film, on video, what I love more than anything else is his quick release and strong arm. I mean, the ball just comes flying off his hands, uh, and that is why he recently went from a three-star to a four-star, 27 touchdown passes in 2020, only three interceptions, while completing 68% of his passes. He's got a little bit of a longer throwing motion, but the ball just comes hot off his hands. Uh, the good news is I'm actually going to get to see him throw Sunday at the Elite 11 Regional Camp in Carrollton, Georgia. So I'm excited about seeing Auburn quarterback Holden Gurner in person for the first time. Next question. Uh, That's a good one because, uh, you know, offensive line in particular, offensive tackle recruiting is so crucial for Auburn in the 2022 class. And there are some good local players this year that Auburn's after. So the question is, out of Elijah Prickett of Columbus Carver over in Georgia and Eston Harris of Beauregard in Opelika, uh, Beauregard High in Opelika, Alabama, which of the two do you think Auburn has the better chance of getting? Well, I think the easy, I mean, I think that's pretty easy to answer right now. And that's Eston Harris. Three-star tackle, a lot of good offers, but Auburn has really made him a priority, and he senses that. And they have, in fact, told him, hey, Eston, the staff wants to get you on board early because we think you are a leader and you can help land other recruits. They've kind of put that on his shoulders. Now, when might he commit? We don't know. He says he's in no hurry. He's not even named a leader. We just feel like Auburn's in a pretty good spot with him, and, and we should point out that he's gotten to know a recent Auburn commit pal, Gordon, fairly well. Uh, so Eston Harris keeping on him. We think Auburn probably is the team to beat, uh, but he is going to continue to pick up a lot of offers. I will say that. So Eston Harris. Now, Elijah Pritchett. Uh, now, that's a guy that Auburn's also recruiting extremely hard, but Columbus Carver, a school that, uh, well, you know, Auburn's not had a ton of success uh, since I've covered the program, you know, uh, dating back to 2013. Uh, but a, a school that has produced a lot of Division I talent. Uh, we hear early on that Alabama and Georgia are probably two teams to watch for Elijah Pritchett, but we know that offensive line coach Will Friend is going to work on him hard. Uh, he's a highly intelligent kid. Don't be surprised if he visits at some point. But uh, right now we think Auburn, uh, now I wouldn't say a long shot, but probably uh, not one of the favorites at this point for Elijah Pritchett. So, again, not liking where Auburn sits right now with Elijah Pritchett, but really liking where Auburn sits with Eston Harris of Beauregard High. Uh, last question, nothing to do with football. This is a pop culture and movies question. Better line from Roadhouse. And man, I'll tell you, I've been waiting for this one for a long time. Right boot or pain don't hurt? Guys, that's an easy one to answer. Pain don't hurt, great philosophical point. Uh, you know, mentally, you can convince yourself of just about anything, I suppose. Great quote, no question about it. But Patrick Swayze's role, his character is a cooler, not a bouncer, a cooler. A cooler has to see everything at a bar, okay? He's watching every bouncer. He's watching every room. He's watching the bar. He's watching guys come in and out. He's watching women come in and out. He's got his eyes on everything. And when those bad Brad Wesley guys walk in and the light hits the boot, the shiny pointy blade at the end of the boot, it catches Swayze's eye. I should say it catches Dalton's eye. And the words come so eloquently from his mouth. Right boot. The essence of a cooler. So there's your best line from the movie Roadhouse. Right boot, no question. Love pain, don't hurt. Love a lot of other ones, and you may disagree. But that'll do it for this edition of the Auburn Football Recruiting Show. We appreciate you stopping by to recap Auburn 
Off to a fairly decent start, three commitments, number 28 overall ranking uh, from 24-7 Sports for the class of 2022, but a lot of work up ahead. And you can find more of our coverage at auburnundercover.com, part of the 24-7 Sports Network. We appreciate everybody stopping by. We'll do it again soon. Take care, everybody.